Hello everyone on this beautiful Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon or Saturday night, wherever you is in the world today. But today is the day to stop doing what you're doing right now today to give your Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory right now today in his house right now today. It was him that woke you up today. It was him that breathed life inside of your body today. It was him that touched your heart so it's able to beat today. It was him that touched your soul today so the blood can run through it today. It was him that gave you your strength today. It was him that gave you your health today. It was him that gave you another chance and another opportunity today, right now today, for you to continue to walk by faith, to put your trust and hope in him today. So if you know that he done that for you today, and if you know that it's all about him today, and if you know that he got you right there in the palm of his hands today, and if you know that he'll never leave you or forsake you right now today, won't you give him the thanks and praise and glory right now today? Because he deserved the thanks, he deserved the praise, he deserved the glory right now. I say right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, give him the thanks and praise and glory right now. It's because of him. That's why you're here today. He has let you know right now today that he ain't finished with you yet. That your story's not done yet. That he is still working on everything that you had put you that you asked for, that you put your faith and trust in right now today. That's why you're here right now. He's telling somebody right now today, continue to walk by faith. Continue to walk even though that you don't see things happening. Continue to put your trust in faith for me because I'm letting you know right now today, I'm giving you my word. I'm giving you my promise. I'm giving you 100% assurance right now today that if everything is okay, that everything is already worked out, that everything is just fine today. And if you know that Jesus is talking to you right now today, give him the thanks and praise and glory right now. Hallelujah, we thank you today. Hallelujah, we magnify and shout out your holy name today. Glory to God right now. We want to say thank you. 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 In Jesus' holy mighty name. That's what praise is all about. Giving him the thanks and praise and glory each and every day. Because he is the same. Today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes like the weather, and he never changes like us. So every day is a day to be thankful. Amen? Amen. He deserves it all. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing, praise is the everyday thing. Let's give him the thanks and praise and glory because he deserves it all, my sisters. He deserves it all, my brothers. Amen? Amen. And my sisters and my brothers, it's such a beautiful, blessed day today to have y'all guys to be a part of today's service today. Minister LT won't let you know how thankful, how grateful, how honored and blessed I am that y'all guys take y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule to always listening to another word and always listening to another message that's coming from my Heavenly Father God. I can't thank y'all guys enough. Words can't even explain how happy and how grateful I am for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all so much for allowing me to continue to be y'all minister. Thank y'all for being part of my life and my path. And I'm so thankful and grateful that I'm part of y'all guys' life and path as well. And I know according to the word of God that he is doing something new. Isaiah 43, 18 through 20 says so, that he is doing something new in your life because you forgot about the former things. Now you are focused on the new things. You are being faithful and you are being a, a blessed servant today. And by you doing that, God is providing right now in your life right now. He is making the way out of nowhere right now today. He is opening up doors for y'all right now today. He's about to bless y'all with the help that y'all been asking for what y'all need right now today. And now I'm praying for a breakthrough for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for a blessing for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for y'all miracle for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for prosperity for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for guidance and direction right now for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for the Holy Spirit to move in a way like it never moved before. Right now, for every last one of y'all, I believe and I declare, I claim it, that Jesus is doing it right now. He is doing it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank y'all so much. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. 
and he is worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Are there anyone out there in the world today that has not yet asked Jesus to come into their life, but today is the day that you're really wanting to do that? Is there anybody in the world today that's not 100% sure if something was to happen to them right now today they don't know where they'd be at? Are there anyone out there in the world today that's never, that's never been saved, but today you want to be saved? Right now, I boldly encourage every last one of you, whoever you are, to please head to the altar right now today. Or just to go in your room right now today. And I'm always saying this because nobody knows the time, the date, or the hour when something is going to happen to you or it's time for you to go home to be with the Lord. Nobody knows. But I tell you what, my sisters my brothers, there's a lot of people right now might not even have that chance or opportunity to even ask that, ask that question anymore because they are fighting for their life. They are barely hanging on and right now they're in that hospital right now. There's a lot of people right now who don't even have a chance or opportunity to even ask that question anymore because they're dead and gone. My point is, tomorrow's not promised nobody. Next week, next month, or next year. Today, you got to have a made-up mind. Today, you got to say, you know what? I am ready. I'm, I'm not worrying about who's looking at me, what somebody might think or say about me. I know I have to do this for me because I'm not 100% sure as something was to happen right now today. I haven't been saved before, and right now I want to be close with God, and right now I'm encouraging right now today. Please head to the altar. Please go in your room right now today. And all you got to say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I'm asking you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there you're saved, you're born again. You have just accepted and received God, and you just accept and receive the Holy Spirit in your life. Somebody today just got saved. Somebody today just got born again today. And I just want to say congratulations to you, my brothers, my sisters, and every boy and girl. I'm not here to build a church up. I'm here to help the lost souls because there's a lot of lost souls out here in this world right now today. There's a lot of people don't even have a relationship with Jesus. There's a lot of people right now not even 100% sure if something was to happen, they don't know where they'd be at. There's a lot of people right now today is not saved. So right now, I am encouraging right now today. If you're one of those people, please make that move to the altar. Please go in your room, boy, and confess. That's what I'm here for. They help the lost souls. And I believe today that the angels are rejoiced because I believe somebody today had this open their mouth. Somebody just boldly confessed right now today. And I just want to say glory, hallelujah to you, my sisters and my brothers, whoever you are today. Amen. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, this message today is going to be, is going to be speaking to somebody specifically. I don't know who, but this miss, I believe that somebody's still holding on to something and you know within your heart it's time for you to let go and God has just spoken to me for me to tell somebody today I don't know who it is it's time for you to let go let go of the things that has hurted you quit holding on to something that you know is already dead quit holding on to something that's never going to be turned around it's time for you to let go and you know exactly who you are today and you know that this word and you know that this message is clearly talking and speaking to you right now today. Amen. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came. Thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our health today. I can't thank you enough for our strength today. I can't thank you enough that you was able to breathe life inside our body today. I just can't thank you enough how you still providing, how you making a way out of no way for us right now today. I just can't thank you enough for this day that we able to seek you in your kingdom today, to give you the thanks and praise and glory today, that we was able to get on our knees and pray to you today, to open up our Bible to receive today's word and receive today's message today. 
I just can't thank enough for your angels that you have surrounded around us today. I just can't thank enough for your protection. I just can't thank enough for the roof that you provided for us today. I can't thank enough for the food that you prepared and put on that table and the clothing shoe that you put on that back. I just can't thank enough for everything that you have done and everything that you are doing. I just can't thank you enough for the blessing. I can't thank enough for the breakthrough. I can't thank enough for our anointing. I can't thank enough for our deliverance. I can't thank enough for our healing. I just can't thank enough for the rain. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always putting my faith, my trust, my hope, and my assurance in you each and every day, because I just can't thank you enough. 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 Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. Now, my sisters, now my brothers, we about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And we're going to read verse 6. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And we're going to read verse 6. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word today, let the church say amen. Amen. God bless you. A time to search and a time to give up. It's a time to search and really to identify who you really are. And once you, once you start searching who you really are and what God has created you to be, it's time for you to search deeply and say, am I the man or the woman that God created me to be for me to be somebody to be walked on, for me to be somebody to get trampled on, for me to be somebody to get used by someone who really don't care nothing about me? And if you, that person right now today, God is telling you right now, it's time for you to search your inner part of your life. It's time for you to search your heart. It's time for you right now to look yourself in the mirror. Just really look at yourself and search and really tell yourself, am I a doormat? Am I trash? Or am I somebody who God created me to be, to be more than a conqueror? And once you have took that time out to search who you really are, and for you to search what God has in store for you, to really search that God has a perfect plan for you, you will not be treated the way that you're being treated by someone today. And it's time for you to right now today to let go of the things that someone has put you down, who has hurt you, who has treated you disrespectfully, who has treated you like a doormat, who has treated you less than dirt, who treated you like spy. It's time. It's time right now to let go. And some of you right now, you're still holding on to the people who have hurted you. Why hold on to something when you know that that person is still going to be who they are? And that's what the word of God says. It's time for you to search who you are. Do you deserve to be treated the way that you've been treated? Do you deserve that, my sisters? Do you really deserve for a man to walk on you like your doormat? To say that you are not nothing, that you are worth nothing. Do you deserve that? It doesn't matter if you're going to fix yourself up. It doesn't matter if you're going to put on the best outfit. It doesn't matter if you're going to want to lose some weight just to make him happy. He is who he is. His heart is not into you. And if you know that his heart is not into you, right now it's time for you to take a real deep look at yourself. And know for a fact that God has the right man who's going to treat you, who's going to love you just for you. And right now it's time for you to let that, that, that low life to go right now. It's time for you right now to let that zero go because God has a hero. God has the man who's been praying for you, who has been wishing for you, who has got his hope and trust in God that he's going to bring you right there to him. So why are you still holding on to that person who don't care nothing about you? Why are you still holding on to him? It doesn't matter if you fix yourself up or not. He's still not going to love you or treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. 
I don't know who I'm talking to right now today, but there's some woman right now today who's going through this right now today. And God is telling you right now today, it's time to let go. Not my words, it's God's words. He said, a time to search and a time to give up. It's time to give up. How much more that you're going to do to try to convince this man that you really love him when he don't really love you? How much time you're burning energy, energy, day in and day out. It don't matter if you, you lay with him, how many times you want to lay with him. He's still not going to love you. He's still not going to treat you right. He's still not going to respect you because you're not respecting and loving yourself more. So why do you expect he's going to love and respect you more if, he's, if you're not really loving, if you're not loving and respecting yourself? Everything starts from you. Everything starts from you. So right now, you need to take yourself a break right now and look to yourself right there deep in the mirror and say, you know what? I deserve better than this. I deserve better than this. I'm not nobody doormat. I know I'm kind. I know I'm lovable. I know God created me a queen that I know who I am. And I know there's somebody who's going to love me and treat me the way I need to be loved and treated. And they are my sisters. There's some people that's lined up that you don't even realize. Let go of that person right now today. And the same thing go for you too, my brothers. Why are you still letting this woman treat you any kind of way? It doesn't matter if you go get a better job that's paying six figures an hour. It doesn't matter if you go buy the best clothes. It don't matter if you go buy the best house. It don't matter if you go buy the best car. If that woman heart is not into you, she still is going to do you the way that she's been doing you. She's still going to treat you the way that she is treating you because her heart is not into you. She likes zeros. She don't want no hero. And you, my brothers, you are the hero. You really got to look yourself in the, in, the, in the mirror right now today and say, I know I deserve better than this. I know there's somebody out there that's praying, wishing they had somebody like me. And they are my brothers. But it's time for you to take your time, take the time out to look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I got to really take a real, real deep search and look at myself. Where I want to go, where I want to be, and who I want to settle down with who I want to be a family with. It can't be the woman that you with right now because she don't care about you because she don't care about herself. I don't think she's worried about, about building and tearing her house down. She don't want to build her house up. The only thing that she's worried about is tearing it down. How many people who's looking at her? She's worried about a little boy attention instead of having a man attention. She likes zeros. She don't want a hero in her life right now. So why are you wasting your time with her? Isn't it time for you to let go? Because that's what the word of God is saying. Some of you right now, it's time for you to let that so-called friend go right now today. You think because y'all grew up together, y'all was next door neighbor together, that y'all parents hung out together, y'all went to church together, that you still, it's still capable for you to still be that person's friend when you know that that person been telling every last one of your business around the world, has stabbed you in the back, has done you wrong, but you're still holding on to something when it's time to let go. That person never gonna change for who they are. That's exactly who they are. Once a person show you who their true color is, that's exactly who they are. But it's time for you to let go. Why are you still holding on something when you know that person have no attention of changing at all? God has some new friends that's lined up for you right now today. And the same thing, why are you still holding on to that family member who have done you wrong? Who has manipulated you? who has talked about you, who has cursed you, who, who disrespect your husband and your wife and your children, why are you still holding on to that family member? Because that's your family or because y'all share the same blood type? It doesn't matter. You got to take a deep search of yourself right now today. Some of you are still holding to the things and the people that is hurting you and thinking if you change this way or if you do something different, maybe they won't hurt you. My sister, my brothers, every boy and girl, you got it all wrong. The Bible says a time to search and a time to give up. And right now, God is telling you right now, it's time to give up on that. It's time for you to move on to the next life. It's time for you to move on to the next chapter in your life. It's time to move on to better and greater things in life instead of holding on to the things that have hurt you and let you down and disappointed you and disrespected you. It's time to let go. When are you going to do yourself a favor and say, you know what? I am tired of going through this. I'm tired, I'm tired of y'all thinking y'all going to walk over me. 
I'm tired thinking y'all y'all think I'm, I'm somebody doormat. I am tired that y'all continue thinking you're going to break my heart and break my heart and you expect me to go back to run after you and chase after you knowing that I know you're going to do this to me. Knowing that I know I serve an awesome and amazing God who has everything already worked out for me. Today, I'm letting go. I'm going to pray for you, but then I'm going to let you go because I deserve better than this. And you do deserve better than this, my sister, my brothers. You deserve better than what God is telling somebody today. Why continue to hold on to something when you know it's not even worth holding on to anymore? It's time to let go and it's time to move on. Do yourself a favor right now today. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the past. Let go of the pain and move on with your life. Smile again. Be happy again. Love again. Be cheerful again. Be joyful again. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that if you let go of the things that hurted you. It's time for you to let go now. It's time for you to let go now. Are you willing to let go of the things that hurt you? Are you willing to say, you know what? I want to be happy again. I want somebody to love me. I want to be joyful again. I want to be cheerful. I want to be more than a conqueror. And if you're ready to do that, let go right now today and watch how God moving your life right now today. That's what he's really waiting for you to do right now today. Let go so he can move in your life. And once you let go, that's when Jesus is going to move in your life in an expected way. And he's going to make sure that you're going to smile again, that you're going to go again, that you're going to be happy again, that you're going to be joyful again, and that you're going to be lovable again. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today, but this word and this message is clearly for somebody today. Let go. So God can move in today. Amen. Amen. And if this word and if this message is clearly for you today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks and the praise and glory right now today. So you know what? I'm letting go. I want to smile again. I want to be happy again. I want to be joyful again. I want Jesus to bring me the right woman. I want Jesus to bring me the right man. I want Jesus to bring me the right job. I want Jesus to bring me the right friends. And once you let go, that's when he's going to move in and bring you whatever that you need for you to smile and be happy and joyful again. But it's up to you to let it go. Quit holding on to the things that hurt you and let go. Amen? Amen. Before I close, I was at the end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, but I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him, always honor him, always praise him. And it's time for you to let go today, my brothers, my sisters, so Jesus can move in your life. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed in Jesus' holy mighty name. God bless you. Amen.